In today's video, we are going to be creating a skid plate for James's Miata here, um, just to get a little bit of a video out to you, and because we're going to have to do it anyways, um, we have the steel here. Um, I know that there are companies and people who have made skid plates, uh, including myself, out of quarter inch plate, but to be honest, um, I don't think that's thick enough, um, especially when you have this long of a section, and if you hit something right in the middle, um, it's gonna have enough deflection in the metal where if your motor is only raised by the quarter inch plates that either people do or that certain companies produce, um, it only raises it like a half an inch and that is absolutely gonna just destroy your pan. Um, I never really had any issues with it because shortly after um, I did my skid plate and my engine raise, um, I ended up going with my bigger wheels and it basically raised my car how this car used to be. But now because we're doing all this work to cut it all out, um, we did test it on the ground. Um, we basically had this thing sitting on the ground on the subframe um, and then the wheels weren't hitting there so that was good. But we realized that basically with the setup that we're doing it, we're going to be able to you know, actually have the frame on the ground and be really low. So obviously um, we want to protect the oil pan. So in doing that, we are going to make our uh, quarter inch uh, lift plates. Uh, we'll show you how to do that. Super, super simple. And then we're going to be using our half inch plate to actually have um, some protection from anything else. I have a separate NB subframe that is off the car. Um, we're going to go up to where I have a bunch of parts stored. Um, we're going to go get the template off of that. You guys are going to be able to see kind of exactly where we're going to be mounting it. I'm um, a lot easier than if we were to do it underneath the car. So obviously, um, if you're doing it on your car, you're just gonna do it in the car um, or underneath, whatever. Um, but we're just for the sake of filming and also for ease, we're gonna do it on our separate subframe. Um, we're basically just gonna make a quick template. Um, James is gonna have a fun time cutting through this steel. And then essentially, we're just gonna be drilling some pilot holes and then uh, countersinking, uh, which is another thing that I didn't do on mine. Um, but. Uh, we're going to be countersinking the uh, the bolts that are going to hold this on so that way we're not shearing off the heads of our bolt and this thing just falls off, you know. It would also be pretty dangerous to have this thing flying around. Um, yep, So, and we also have plenty of quarter inch plate that we're going to use for the engine rays. Um, we're going to use factory motor mounts, everything. We're just basically using it as a spacer. We have a subframe here. We're going to flip it over so that way we have access to the underside. And we're basically going to take this pattern right here and get the cutting. While this thing is like this, uh, I'll show you the engine uh, lift plates. Basically the motor mounts sit right here in this slot and then I think in one of these holes, I don't remember. Um, but basically all we do is we lift the motor a little bit and we're gonna notch our plate so we just slide it in there and then it sets back down. But um, because there's that quarter inch on either side, the whole engine is raised maybe like half an inch if that, but um, that's one thing to note you know whenever you buy those uh, pre-made ones that you're you're barely even raising your engine and then you got that skid plate that's really close to it you know if something comes and hits right here it's it's gonna bend enough to hit your oil pan anyways and so you might as well just raise it more or get a thicker piece of plate so here's the underside um Obviously, we don't want the plate to be protruding any more than uh, is necessary. We don't care about the subframe at all. Um, it's going to scrape, and obviously, if we want to be as low as possible, we don't want to add a half inch to this. Um, so we're going to, you know, put it in this little uh, lip right here. So we just need to get this pattern here. Um, and even though the oil pan, I think, it ends like right around here, we're going to use the whole plate as far back as possible. So we're going to take this whole thing, and I think the plate will go almost to here, and it'll just cover that whole area. And uh, also that we can put more mounts in there too, so it'll be good. But yeah, so uh, one thing also, uh, we need to mark where uh, we're gonna put our, our screws and we should mark where there aren't these um, spot welds because the metal is harder to drill through there. So um, after we do our template, um, make sure you just, you mark where we wanna drill. So I just do like a, a hash on mm -hmm. the side. Um, but yeah, so get it as tight as possible, as, as good of a template as possible.
So we decided to raise up the car for obvious reasons, uh, mainly just to be able to drill up into the subframe. Um, but we're first thing going to raise the motor. Obviously we have to loosen the um, engine mounts. We're not gonna take the bolts all the way off just because we don't wanna you know, run into any issues trying to put them back on because um, the bolts aren't that long and trying to put that spacer in there, it makes it so like you can basically like have the bolt on there barely, which is a little sketchy, but um, basically I don't wanna you know, have any problems trying to rethread it on there. So we're gonna loosen up those bolts Super, super loose, but still on there. They're in that hole there. I haven't done this for a while. Anyways, right in here. And uh, basically just loosen that up all the way. And then uh, we'll raise the motor from the back of the trans here. So this is the oil pan. And then we'll raise it up by right here. Uh, probably put like a piece of wood or something, just be a little nicer. Um, and then we'll just slip in our little spacers and call it a day. But right now, you can kind of see that the oil pan is pretty much even with, I'd say, like the lowest part of the subframe. So that's kind of the issue that you run into. Um, we need to get at least another, like, you know, half inch up before we can even have clearance for our plate. And then, obviously, for the plates that are thinner, you know, you'll run into issues where, um, you know, any sort of impact right here is absolutely just going to run into your oil pan anyways and, and that obviously defeats the whole purpose of doing any of this. So we got it raised probably at least half an inch. Um, so we're gonna put the spacers in there and hopefully it stays right around where it is right now. Just gotta make sure it stays like that. I mean, you probably legit have like a sixteenth of an inch of airspace. Yeah. All right, so this is a little bit of an awkward of an angle, but I'm gonna try to give you guys the best um, view that I can of this because I think it's really important for people to understand what we're saying when we mean the difference between what a quarter inch skid plate that you buy would protect you with versus the half inch that we made. So. If you guys look in here, I know it's not the easiest thing to see. See here? All right, so as you guys can see, the black piece is the skid plate. This is from the back side right near the transmission. You can see that between the skid plate and the oil pan itself, you've probably got, I don't know, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch of clearance. Um, a sixteenth of an inch really isn't a lot, and if you hit anything with enough deflection in the metal, it's gonna bend, it's gonna crack your oil pan. So that's why we went with that half inch alternative to the quarter inch that you can buy. That's the main reason we went with the half inch is because there's really, you're working with a game of millimeters right now, and any type of chance that you take that you're gonna crack the pan, it's gonna leave you stranded, and it's something that could have been avoided with a little bit better of a material. Alright, we're gonna put this thing on the ground um, to basically just for fun, I don't know. Um, then you'll also be able to see how low it'll be and the skid plate on the ground where it's gonna be when this thing is uh, all done. <laughs> 